So from the previous class that we had, we managed to work with the basics of our three subsets. So we do not want to waste our time. Let us uh, quickly go through some typical questions and uh, see how these questions can be given as we have got um, a typical example here where we are given that uh, Tabo polled 250 people to determine if they liked uh, shampoo A, B, or C. So there are three types that we are given of uh, shampoo. Then we is asked, uh, that is, he polled 250 people to determine if they liked any of the three. His results are shown in the Venn diagram below. As we can see, we've got three of them. So therefore, that's the three subsets that we are given. Uh, remember everything that we explained according to uh, this illustration. How many people like all the three shampoos? That is A. How many people like all the shampoos? All the three. A, B, and C. So remember we said all three. That is the intersection, this part. The intersection. That is our all three. The intersection. Intersection of A. Intersection of A, B, and C. Which we are given here as what? As X. So the question is simply find X. That is what they are asking you here. Calculate the value of X. So how to calculate the value of X? Remember we are told the number of people that were being polled is 250. That's our sample space. 250. All of them. And we have got each and every part of the diagram filled in. Each and every part is being filled up. It's only that part of X. So we can take advantage of the 250, the total that we are given. That is, if we add up everything, we are supposed to obtain 250. So we can simply uh, make X the subject. Uh, that is, X is equal to out of the total of 250, we are going to subtract everything that we see. So there is a 33. All right. There is a 40. There is a 15. Everything that we see. There is a 65. There is a 25. There is a 20 here. All right. And we also have uh, the 22. Do not forget uh, the 22 of those ones who do not like any of the, this one, they do not like any of the given shampoos. They are not part of that. So you also, you must consider them because they are part of what? The sample space. They are part of the people who are being asked to determine whether they like or not. They are, they are part of those 250. All right? So let us subtract uh, that's 250 minus, if we add everything that we are seeing there, that is going to give us uh, 220. So therefore, X was going to give us uh, 30. That is all three. Those ones who, who like all the shampoos, they were 30. All right, that is our value of X. So in this case, our X is 30. Then the other part now is uh, a condition whereby they are asking us to determine the probability now of randomly picking a person that likes shampoos A or B. A or B. All right. So this, which section are we talking about? Right, that's our B. So the probability of liking A or B. A or B. So let's go back to the two subsets condition. This is our A, this is our B. What is A or B? Combine everything that you see. Combine. 
So this is the same thing where we see our A or B. We combine together. So everything here, everything that we are seeing there, we must combine. That is our A or B, the union. Remember, union. Combine everything that you see. All right? So meaning to say, we're going to have 33. It's part of A. Uh, 40, it's part of A. And B, A, A or B, uh, 65, it's also part of it. The 30, which is the X that we calculated. Uh, the 15, as we can see, it's in A. As long it is found in A. And also found in B. There is also this part, 25. It is part of B. Look, the set B. It is inside of B. So we also have uh, the 25 there. All right. So you add everything that we see. All right. Those are the elements that we are talking about. Combine them or combine, add everything. Everything over what? 250. The sample space. So thus, if we add the numerator, uh, you're going to obtain 208. So let us just uh, quickly have this one. Uh, 208 over 250, which you can also have it as a decimal. All right, let's just go back to the uh, normal mode. Press 8, press 2. So that's 208 over uh, 250, which is uh, as a decimal 0, 0.832. We have our probability there. A or B. Just like that. All right. Let's see another part of the question, which is uh, to determine the probability that is on C, the probability of randomly picking a person that likes shampoo C and doesn't like B, shampoo B. So we have a condition that A, C is considered like C, all right, and, all right, and doesn't like B, meaning to say that's the complement of B or not B. So this is our condition, not B, the complement of what? Of B. So it is to locate that, understand the meaning of what you're given, then locate, where is this part? C and not B. Okay, let's try to locate it. Okay, that's our C here. We need the probability of C and not B, which is the complement of what? Of B, not B. So as we locate this, 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 is, this is what we want. C intersection B complement. This is our set C. This one, our set C. But intersection what? B complement. What is not in B? What is the intersection? All right. Uh, if you do not understand this, uh, try to do it this way. All right. There are three of them like this. These are three subsets. This is our A. This is our B. Uh, that's our C. So when we talk about uh, set C, this is set C. This is our set C. You cover everything in C. All right. That's our set C. Then B complement, the complement of B means what is outside of B. Everything that is outside of B. All right. Outside of B. Take note. Outside of B. This is outside, outside of B, outside of B, outside of B, outside of B, like this. We are talking about these elements. They are outside of B. So we have the C considered, but they are saying intersection now. What does the intersection part represent? Where you see both. So that's where you see both presentation here. Which, which part are we talking about? Where we see both colors intersecting. That is here. This is the part. Both here. Blue and green. Blue and green. Blue and green here. Both. This is it. This is where we have got an intersection. So our final answer is this portion here. 
That's our final answer. So you can just shed sub sub, then you combine that way. If it is union, you take everything that you have shedded, everything that you have shedded must be part of your answer. But in our case, it is only this part that we are seeing here, this, this section that is in black, this one. So let's try to locate it uh, on this diagram and see uh, which part are we talking about. This one, uh, part of C, part of C, but B is not there. So it is the part of C, this one, but B is not there, this one. The part of C, but B is not included, this part of B, this one. I mean, this part of C, but B is not included. So as we can see, we only have 15 and what? And 20, this section here, the part of C, where B is not included. So there is 15 and 20. That is how you can look at this. All right. So there is uh, 15 and 20. Those are the numbers that we are seeing. So you can simply combine them together. 15 plus 20 over what? 250. So that's it. So meaning to say uh, that 15 plus 20 was going to give us 35 out of uh, 250. And we can even reduce this one or have it as a decimal, which was going to give us uh, 0, 0,14. So that is the probability that we are given. The probability of those ones that they like C, but they do not like B. They do not like B. All right? Then D, we are given the probability this time of randomly picking a person that does, the, okay, the person that only likes shampoos A and B. Only A and B. Okay, let's go back to our diagram. Let's go back here. Yeah, talked about this. A and B only. B and C. Remember how to find these ones. A and B only. If it is not given. But here it is just locating the, the position to say this is our part. It's, it's a direct part, this one. It was just locating A and B only. That's our D. All right. So part D. All right. Part D. We need probability. All right. Uh, here I don't know why this one is like this. Let me just try to. Do it this way. All right, I'm just going to write aside. Uh, let's see. All right, so that is part uh, D. All right, part D. So, like I said, we need the probability of A and B only. A and B only. A and B only. Which section is it from our diagram? A and B. All right, so take note. This is A and B. This 30 and 40 combined. It's A and B. But there is this part of 40, which is A and B only. Here. Remember, A and B only. The 40 that we see. So this one was direct and straightforward. There are 40 there. Out of what? The total of... Uh, 250 as a decimal, that's uh, 0, 0,16. All right, moving on to E. Determine the probability randomly of randomly picking a person that doesn't like shampoos C or C, uh, C or B. Doesn't like, not C or B. Not in this. Doesn't like C doesn't like B. Remember, this can be written as C or B complement. It's not part of what? Of B. Doesn't like, that doesn't like shampoos C or D. C or B. Determine the, of picking a person that doesn't like All right. So if we are to consider uh, C or B complement, let's save uh, this part of our diagram. Okay. So this is 
All right, so this is part E. This is part E of our question. The probability, like I said, it's C. It's going to be C or B complement, not. Probability, not. C or B. Not C or B. That is what we're talking about. There. C or B. It is a combination of these two. C or B. These two. That's our C or B. These two. Combine everything that you see in C and in B. This is C or B. But when they say complement, it means outside of that. So outside of this part which is shaded, what is it that we see? There is a 33, there is a 22. Those are elements. Those are the ones that do not like B or C. Some of the elements, some of these people, like we say, guys, they do like A. Some of them, they are also in B. But here we are, we are saying they are not, they do not even have any, they do not have anything to do with B. They do not have anything to do with C. Those are outside. You locate first. B or C is this section. But when you say not that, the complement outside of that, there is 32 and 22. 33, sorry, and 22. Out of what? The total of 2. 150. So that is it. Uh, this was going to give us uh, 55 out of 250, which is as a decimal uh, 0 0.22. Right? That is, you cover these two, then you take what is outside of that part. Just like that. Just like that. So this is how you can attempt uh, these questions. Answer as many questions as you can. Let's see another part. All right. Uh, then F. We want the probability of randomly picking a person who doesn't like any, any, who doesn't like any, any of the shampoos. That is any of the three. Doesn't like any of the three. Doesn't. It's outside. So meaning to say, we are talking about A or B O C complement not A or B or C. It's not part of A, it's not part of B, it's not part of C. Where is it? That is the outside set. That is the outside elements. It is not part of these three. Uh, that is here. Uh, we talked about this one. Not in A or B or C. This is the outer part. So how many are we having? 22, right? So D, uh, meaning to say as a probability, you can have it this way, probability of not this is equal to what? So it's going to be equal to, we say there are 22 elements, 22 people there out of the 250 of the sample space. It is still part of the sample space. These people, they are part of those people who are being asked. If they do like this. So they must be out of what? 250, the sample space. So that is it as a decimal, uh, 0 0.088. Remember, probability can be expressed as a percentage depending with the question or depending with the way that you want to express your answers at the end of the day. All right. So that is how these questions might be given as uh, let's just try to uh, work out as many questions as we can as we are preparing ourselves for the exams which are ahead of time.